How do you get 90% performance out of your stereo system? <laughs> you don't want 100? <laughs> uh, this question comes from Jim in Buffalo, New York. Hey, Paul, you've mentioned in the past the law of diminishing returns. It's the law. Since it's difficult to quantify in general at what price point that sets in, I'd like to approach the question from a different angle. Assuming, for the sake of discussion, that a hypothetical 100% perfect, perfect system exists, I don't think so, but anyway, how much can I expect to spend to get 90% of the way there? It's a really good question. With, um, I mean, and it's a little tough to answer because we're talking in generalities. But let's talk about the law of diminishing returns. And it, it applies not only to high-end stereo systems, home theater systems, but cars, food, I mean, you name it, the law of diminishing returns is always there and it suggests that you can get from point A to point B um, pretty quickly. So I take any example you want, but it's pretty easy to go to the supermarket and find a loaf of really good bread, right? I mean, you go to the, go to the bread department if you're a bread snob like me. And you look and you say, all right, white bread, white bread, ugh, 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 crap, 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 boom. There is a, a loaf of, you know, seeded whole wheat bread that is by a reputable baker. Pretty easy, okay? And maybe it costs, you know, 50 cents more than the crap wonder bread. And that's pretty easy to do. So you buy that if you have, if you care about the quality of your bread. And, um... I, I, the, like we, for our everyday bread, we do this Dave's Killer Bread, uh, which is a great story. This guy was in jail. And anyway, um, and it's good bread, okay? Now, the law of diminishing returns would say that's pretty easy to get there, and there's your 90%. How do you blow that out of the water? Well, to do that, you're going to have to go and spend far more effort for far less return. So the difference between Wonder Bread and Dave's Killer Bread is huge. And it's easy. Go to the shelf, eh, 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 yep, done. To go from Dave's Killer Bread to really good bread with thick, great crust, beautiful crumb inside, you're going to have to search out a really talented baker. And that's really hard to do. And in many in many cities, there is no such thing. We used to have one here, um, and uh, the, med, the Med Bakery, and it was great, and then they went out of business, and now there's Udi's, and blah, blah, blah. The point being, to get 90% of the way is pretty easy. To get the rest of it, hard. Same in stereo. So you can get 90% of the way by pretty easily. Take our products, uh, please. <laughs> little Rodney Dangerfield there. Um, if you buy even a Sprout, but I mean, uh, where I would start, take our, our Strata. We make a, a, an integrated amplifier called a Strata. It's, it's not cheap. It's $2,700, I think, something like that. And a decent pair of speakers, a set of Elax, eventually PS Audio will have our speaker. For, for far less than $5,000, for let, let's call it, I don't know, four grand, you can have your 90%. That's a killer system. Um, I, I have a pair of uh, KEF LS50s at home and the Strata amplifier, and it, it's, it's an amazing sounding system. That, that'll get you all your 90%. If you want to get 95%, that law of diminishing returns, now we're looking at expensive BHK amplifiers, <clears throat> big expensive speakers. Um, so it, it, it is like an exponential curve. It's whoop, easy to get there, and then off you go. So yeah, I think it's pretty easy to get to your 90%. <clears throat> you could do it with us. You can do it with a number of companies. Uh, with us, grab a Strata, pair of decent speakers, and you are good to go. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.